wait, wait. Is, is the matchup that bad that he's going Mario? You, I mean, if you look at Super Splat Bros, Super Splat Bros in Northern California, Ally was put into a tough, tough situation against the likes of Larry, where he decided he didn't want to go Snake against Larry, and he instead decided to go Mario. And I think it was a Game 5 scenario, but Larry still managed to get the win, allowing him to face off against Void in the Grand Finals. But still, you know, seeing that, it doesn't really surprise me after especially seeing Ally wanted to try out the character before at an event er, way earlier in Smash Ultimate's meta. That is true. Yeah. And sometimes a lot of things that did happen at the beginning of the game, they do matter for this part, like the future of the game. Because mm -hmm. it's not that long ago. It's only four or five months ago. So might as well go for it. But Ally taking a lot of damage. 105 already. And remember, Light loves to do that thing where it's either down there to up smash, neutral air and up smash, run up, up smash, or shield and get the up smash after the shield. Look, he's waiting for it already. So hurry up, hit my shield, hit my shield. But Every very time. smart by yeah. Ally. Dude, Light is so good at parrying too. Yeah. So you got to watch out when it comes to applying that physical pressure. And there it goes right there. You didn't even need to hit a shield. You just do a move. You miss. Get that up smash anyway. Mm -hmm. Right there, Ally. Not really shielding the moment he saw the side. He probably didn't even see it coming. Okay, back to the situation. Wow, not only is he so good at getting the parry, but he's so good at knowing what to do after the parry. Like, he'll parry, not even attack. A lot of people parry go, okay, that means I can hit, right? But that's the thing. They don't realize that parry, like, a lot of times isn't as good as perfect shooting in the last game. So he'll parry and then try to attack and they'll still block it. So a lot of times the best thing to do is just parry and get a grab afterwards. Yeah, I agree. Okay, try to see if he can get the grab. I wonder if he was expecting Ally to run, roll backwards or something. That was a deep grab, too. Okay. Okay, here we go. Fading back. And right. you could see the sh so seeing these short hops from Ally makes me think that he's expecting full jumps from light yeah. so he could intercept with an up air. Yes. You know? It could it's be an anti-air. Oh my god. Ally fireball the wrong way. There's a chance you might actually see the snake come out. The matchup that I know he wants to avoid, and that's why he did go Mario. Might bring it out anyway, but okay, up air combos. I'm not seeing too many of them. Remember how um, on Battlefield it's so good for Mario? I wonder if he'll go to Battlefield next and decide to stay Mario. That's if Light could not ban Battlefield. But I feel sure. like the chances of him not banning Battlefield are really low, especially when you, this person mains Snake and Mario. I agree. These characters are great on the stage. Okay, the chase again. I like the delay. Waiting for the spot dodge. Something that a lot of players have a tough time dealing with because of spot dodge cancel. You know? Yep. Right here. Okay. Gets him in the air. Now this time we have Ally making it tough for his opponent to line a little bit, but... Light is back on the ground here, and the normal get up. Oh, I like the mix up. That's something that you can't use too much because directional air dodge has a lot of landing lag. That is true, and he does that a lot with his snake hill air dodge through the opponent and be like in a better position. Oh, water. Hey, yeah. Very nice high recovery coming out from Light just to make sure to avoid the fact that he could have been possibly early KO'd right there. 121 right now, and Ally has to watch out. He can be like up smash food right there, even a back air too. Okay. Back air. Oh there it is! Goodness! Wow, and it looked like he clanked with one of his attacks too, right there. You saw it because you saw like that animation, right? Yeah. Where he like parried, and I believe the hitboxes of the downer was probably like still active, able to get that up smash. Of course, there's parts of Fox's body where he's able to just like be intangible, allowing him to be able to just go through moves. So great job right there. His legs cutting through Mario as he takes to the skies with his attack, resulting in the end of the stock and a light taking the first game. That is crazy. I Man. feel like he reacts to it, too. Like, maybe that he's not expecting the parry, but he, he's thinking, like, okay, if I block this, it'll see. Oh, I blocked it? Okay, I know exactly what to do. Because even if he's turned the wrong way, he'll turn back the right way and get the up smash. He'll turn so the right way and get that grab. So, Light's reaction time might be incredible. It, it is. Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's so strong. All right. This is what, what I was expecting. Even though the matchup isn't the most fun, a lot of Snake players do do this at high level. And... Sometimes they're able to win against Fox players to Light's level, but there's only one Fox player at Light's level, and that is Light right now. Yeah, Qatar. I'm very scared, man, looking at this, dude, because, again, you talked about the situation, right? As a person who loves Snake, and to see this particular matchup, it, it can't be easy. But he can't move. Look, yeah, he's look at running him. past all the grenades. White on rice. White on to, rice. You have to wait for Fox to make a mistake to be able to punish. And there's another example. That downer on shield, he tried to punish with an attack and immediately got hit. Oh, the Lux! Oh, oh, no. And he's still going. Great. But he was a little bit too far. He was able to just DI out accordingly. All right, and that's very nice by Ally. He doesn't have much aerials, or Snake doesn't have much aerials to get out of punishing Fox or making a mistake or doing something a little laggy. Mm -hmm. But that downer is one of the very few aerials you can actually use on him. Nice, and he was able to catch that full jump right there. Again, oh my a lot of God. players are good at that Side one. B, that oh, but he reflects it right oh. back in his face. I actually thought that was it. That Me too. That would only be it for every Fox player. That's what it is. 
Not quite. Oh, no back throw coming out. Decides his F tilt. Oh, one, one more. more. No, oh, he tried. tried to turn it around. Okay. I thought he was going to up tilt there, too. Yeah, he actually went for an up air for some reason. Almost worked. Might see up tilt come out. There it is. Oh, it's a little bit too quick on the draw, though. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that Etzel should be able to KO. Very high percent. Lots of rage on Ally. At the edge here. Keeping the pressure up. He's on the chase, though, and I like the up throws. In a stance, what to capitalize on when he's facing off against his character. All right. Oh, nice. Gosh, okay. and he definitely tried to save there. Yeah, he tried <laughs> to blow it up, but it was, like, really far on the left side of the right platform. Yeah. So I'm sh shocked he tried to do that anyway. Explosion. Whoa! Oh, my God. He I, went for it. That would have been a clip. Yeah, Sir Toasty, I know you're waiting. <laughs> that's one of the snake specials. If they pick up the grenade from a stake and you hit them off the stage, the grenade will blow them up and you can try to get the pair after. Mm -hmm. Oh, put him to bed. Grenade cooked a little bit too long. Ooh, try to trick him up by using the side B to be able to make it look like, hey, you can't, well, you can't recover, but instead using a down smash. And another side B, up smash instead. Well, oh, God. Oh, my oh God. but good tech. That's really scary whenever he tries to go down and do that back here to get the stage spike because if he, he might get the hit, but if he doesn't get the spike, it puts him in a bad position. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and great by Light, by the way, making sure to like use things to be able to allow him to stay longer. Like, of course, LSI, right? You hold down, and that decreases the knockback when you get sent into a stage, allowing you to attack at even higher percents. Wow, an ally doing a fantastic job right now. Boom, great by Light. He waited there, baited the C4 explosion, and a taunt right there, charging up. This guy's doing KO Ken what? Times, that's times two. Times one, I'd say times one. All right. Because like <laughs> times one million. Oh, we're in disguise right now with Fox. Good reflect again, and he's able to immediately act. Okay, Smash. pushing him off stage. And let's see the landing. Good air dodge to neutral. Acted so quick out of it. Oh, very nice. Oh. Seeing through the side B, but it doesn't matter. He takes so much damage. It's like 40% just from that one catch of a side B. Look at it. Can't move. Okay, Probably wanted go. to get the pop-up. Oh Wait! Gosh. Dang. And right there, we thought we were going to see a situation where Fox, I mean Snake, being so heavy, would allow Ally to stay alive. But right there, Light just knew the percents. He got the up smash, even if you saw him holding back as much as possible. Resulted in the end of a stock. And now we have Light taking that game. Was yeah, that the first one? No, no second no, one. Because yeah, we saw too. Mario. We saw yeah, Mario. Mario. Mario came out. That match was not looking good. That was like good. a filler episode. Yeah, that was, no that was disrespect to Ally. I mean, I like the filler. To, no. Yeah, we, to be honest, filler was kind there's of some, like, I guess, like, some filler that's kind of canon, right? Yeah. yeah. Then, it, then there's Naruto filler. I mean, nah, there's some Naruto filler where you got to hear, like, the backstory on B or the backstory Ooh. of, like, Itachi a little bit, oh, you know? He's dead. All right, but here we go. Wait, I mean, are you no spoiling Naruto? No, I didn't. I didn't spoil I'm lying. Here we go. He's alive. Sorry, chat. He's alive, if you're wondering. All right, so here we go. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, and I feel like he's probably going to stay Snake because he did much better with Snake. Tomorrow's looking a little iffy. And he's been playing Snake all day, so might as well stick with it. Okay. Honestly, because of the fact that I respect both of these players so much and we're getting we were so far in the tournament, I would love to see a Game 5 scenario. Let's see what Ally could bring to the table here in the game, third game. I would love to see it too. It's just going to be It's really hard, hard, man. Light's not an easy opponent. Look at these combos, dude. You get all that pressure right now. And now if Ally throws out an aerial and does not throw it out for oh enough, he takes all God. this damage and there's nothing he can do. He can't. Yo, I'm he sorry. Can't he can't oh, move. he can't move. He can't play. He's trying. And I'm so <laughs> sorry, y'all. It may look like bias, but I respect both of these guys, man. It's just My hard. Yeah. And to see an amazing Fox player, it, 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 it's something to marvel at, dude. It, it is beautiful. And like Light literally being the best Fox player. He's the best. He's the one that's going to make sure you don't move at all. No, it's not going to work. Yo, did you really try to 4th of July him? <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> Especially whenever you're down and not like that, you sometimes you need to go for that F smash. Even at like 30%. I still Sorry, think Snake is a really good character, but not uh Not a solo main character. That's not a solo main. So then, good character. Yeah, he's very good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Not Don't use the word great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Looking for that up tilt. Ally doesn't like to go for the up tilt. Like, Salem style, Salem will just go for that up tilt. Doesn't even care. Ally likes to go for these, these other things. He'll go for up air <laughs> instead. Nice use of Juggler Reflector here. Feeding back. He understands that. He's in the lead, so he doesn't have to overextend. Nice right there by Ally, though. Taking a little bit of a risk with the side B. And right. he went for the ground. So you saw that, right? Yeah. Okay. Didn't get the oh optimal pop-up. Up, up oh smash. My. Oh. Light. Ally getting thrown around it's like Ragdoll at the moment. That's going to be a KO. It's so hard, man. Light is just so fast with it. When you look at this particular matchup and seeing how consistent Light is with his follow-ups. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, that was big brain. One thing I'd like to say Talk about to the fact that Allied or uh, Light did that was yeah. he, he went for the grab because he knows he was at over 160%. Exactly. Most likely Ally's gonna go for the grab for himself. He's yep. like, I will grab you first, I will let that up smash not hit me, and I will make you not move. Drag down, nope. Yeah, Ally's still trying his best here, but yeah, there's that dash attack. If you could just run in on Snake, then like screw all of his bombs. It doesn't matter. Dash run in attacks. and get that dash attack and his stuff him up. Yeah, dash attack such a good burst option, right? Good uh, zone breaker too. Pops the opponent into the air. It's rather quick. Oh snap! Here we go. Metal Gear Solid. I mean, that oh. was cool. <laughs> well, it was cool. And there we have it. Somebody yelling Snake at the top of their lungs after the KO from Light. Great job right there.